If you were me, what would you do? What would you have done? You've got to see that there's a void and see that there's an opportunity, and then you've got to figure out how can you fill that. Entrepreneurship is a synonym for liberation because those who have success with it, it provides them the freedom to be whoever they want to be. But more importantly to me is it provides them with the freedom to uplift others. And if we're talking about really looking at the full landscape of business excellence, it has to include black businessmen and women. I think the thing that excites me the most about uh, the opportunity to design and teach this course is it provides the chance uh, to teach young people about great businessmen and women who are African American. People that most of them have never heard of before, who deserve to be recognized for their brilliance, who deserve to be a part of the narrative about business excellence. It's going to be a fascinating course comprised of 14 new case studies about 14 African American businessmen and women who have been phenomenally successful. And we define success not just in their professional life, but success also includes what are they giving back for the uplifting of the community. And I think what, this, what the students can learn is they can learn part of our struggle. They can learn part of the struggle that you go through as an African American in business because there's not parity. There's not always access to capital there's not always access to the best talent. We have approximately 10,000 cases that Harvard Business School has published, and uh, from my last count, less than 100 of them have a black protagonist. So our black students never get a chance, for the most part, to see other black businessmen and women who are role models, and our non-black students do not get a chance to see uh, black people who exhibit business excellence in the fundamentals of business. So if we're not producing case studies that include black people, no one is being taught anything about these great businessmen and women who should be included in the conversation. My father, John Johnson, my mother, Eunice Johnson, they built Johnson Publishing Company together. My father started this with little of nothing. What he saw, and I think this is really important as an entrepreneur, he saw a void in the African American community for a publication that would be the voice and the vision of the African-American sort of diaspora, African-American community. Because at that time, most of the things that were written about African-Americans were never positive. I've been allowed the wonderful privilege to be able to see the brand really start to flourish now outside of just print. We say that Ebony is more than a magazine, it's a movement. So I'm excited to hear what the students have to say. And I'm really curious to see what they think should be the next big thing for the brand. John Johnson was saying, you have the responsibility of being a successful businessman and using that success to pull up your community. When we talk about the intersection of race and entrepreneurial opportunity, what we're gonna do in this class is we're gonna have the students pull together in teams to identify underserved markets in the poor, the middle class, in the affluent black communities where they could create an entrepreneurial endeavor to service that market, to expand the discussion about entrepreneurial opportunity. <music>